Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. I trust my inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. Hey everybody. People always ask me, you know, Bina, how are you so confident? Like, you are glowing, you are so positive, like, how? And what I say is, it's because I know that somewhere in the world, there is a mug with my face on it. And that is truly, truly this, this mug, is what keeps me so confident. That's that's the trick. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, girl, I'm just playing, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. My confidence comes from the Lord. Okay, my mom actually got these mugs made for my brother and I in 1997. You got like a little beanie, look like a little beanie. This is actually kind of a cute look. The short braids with the little wave, okay. Um, yeah, my mom got those made for us when we were in London in 1996, 1997? I don't know, in the 90s somewhere. Anyway, so what is up my miracle-minded men and my manifesting mom and Sita? Welcome to another episode of Beanie TV. I love y'all. Thank you for the organic, natural, amazing support. So this is gonna be a get unready with me. I'm literally only taking off my makeup and these earrings and just chit-chatting with you about where I'm at. <coughs> Okay, no, like, I'm really choking. Don't want to mess up my mama's curtains. Where I'm really at with this social media game. <coughs> when I, I think I talked about it last video. What, I started YouTube because I felt called to it. I literally never thought about numbers. I never thought about subscribers. I'm still like what 4,000 subscribers really organic subscribers really fuck with me oh okay like okay but um and then instagram you know same thing i just got an instagram because everyone else had an instagram so recently i think when i got back from ghana i was putting pressure on myself to get these numbers up, get these brands to look at me, get people to recognize me, increasing my visibility, and nothing wrong with increasing my visibility, but I was like, look, watching videos on how to get more subscribers, how to get more Instagram followers. I was posting at certain times that articles say you're supposed to post at 3 a.m. on Wednesday. I was posting at these times, and I was creating this really stupid false pressure, and I wasn't um, posting organically and consciously like how I usually do. I don't post unless I feel pulled to post. But I felt like, you know, I don't have a job. Like, let me just try to make something out of nothing. And I could feel physical pressure on me. And it wasn't until maybe like this, I've been, I'm going, I'm doing a 30 day um, prayer, prayer challenge, whatever. And it's day 11 and just so many things are coming off of me so I encourage you to find a 30 day challenge 30 day prayer challenge it's been helping me a lot and I realized that I was being distracted by the ways of the world I was being distracted by the numbers game by the followers game by the subscribers game instead of being focused on being a vessel but uh, being being a vessel of God doing bringing light into the earth I am the salt and light of the earth you are the salt and the light of the earth so I'm you know I was getting distraction distracted from putting out content that makes people feel better putting out content that makes someone smile putting out content that makes the human experience for someone else a little bit lighter that is what I'm called to do that is what I do that's who I've been I'm the girl that you come to for advice I'm the girl that you know when you hang out with me it's gonna be a good time as long as I'm in a good mood that's me that's who God made me and that is what I bring out in my content um, and unfortunately I was getting caught up because I felt like I don't have what what do I have what do I have I don't have anything God so let me finesse this um, this this social media game and but part of me is like but I'm the girl that's like super organic like 
as far as like things happening for me like I'm gonna I want to be discovered I want someone to find me organically you know what I'm saying and I forgot that when I was being truthful and honest and 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 posting when I felt pulled to post using words and wisdom when I felt the spirit telling me like someone needs this message I I, I ignored that and I felt blocked and I was only about the numbers the number numbers but you know what's funny you know what's the key key when I was posting at 3 a.m. posting three times a day using hashtags I was getting no followers okay I'm talking mostly about Instagram I was getting no followers and then like two three days ago I was like okay this is not working this is a distraction numbers are distractions subscribers are distractions comparing I can't even and it's like this is the way of the world right now oh my god I'm supposed to be taking my makeup off it is six minutes and y'all couldn't tell me to take my makeup off so I am using all just regular almond oil, uh, non-GMO. This is like an OG. Uh, I've been using it for like five years. I actually stopped using it, but uh, you can buy it on Amazon. It's like 10 bucks or something. How y'all gonna sit here and let me talk and not tell me to take my makeup off? So yes, I'm taking my makeup off with oil using a like uh, pad thing. Oh shit, got oil in my eye. So anyway, so I was getting, oh, I have oil in my eye, guys. I was getting distracted by gaining popularity on social media. That is a game for the world. Oh, there's really oil in my eye. That is a game for the world and of the world. So, you know, brands won't work with you people will not work with you unless you have high numbers but you know what's crazy i can't believe that i forgot that last year in november on essence magazine snapchat they named me top one of the top five wellness vloggers you should follow And some God led somebody to my channel who worked at Essence. If you are watching this, please, I did not get your name. Please, 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 if you're watching this, reach out to me because I just want to thank you for letting God lead you to my channel. Um, and I did that organically. I did that by me being me. And I, you know, I forgot got that me being me is my superpower that is my keys to success so if you discover me you're discovering me on my own merits not because I bought followers not because I I forced you to see me I don't want to force anybody to see me I want you to come and discover me and be led and called to me so with that being said I want you if you are getting pulled in by the numbers game damn i don't have enough numbers i don't have this. there's nothing wrong with goals i kept my there's nothing wrong with having like yeah there's nothing wrong with having goals like i was keeping the goals in mind but i was i got so overwhelmed and just like guys i was looking at numbers every single day like who unfollowed me how dare you unfollow me i'm trying to get past a certain number on instagram you want to sit here and follow me sis sir how dare you but then it's kind of like I, you can't live like that sorry i keep looking at myself i just want to make sure all the makeup is off for you you cannot live like that so let's go ahead and wipe this excess oil off of me so the oil grabs majority of the makeup let me just show you guys um so when i'm lazy this is what i like to do i just like to use almond oil coconut oil olive oil whatever oils now see there's still a lot of makeup on my face because it doesn't get everything right but it gets most of the topical stuff so and it also moisturizes so now I'm going to move on and using my Acure Brilliantly oh that's bright how do we do this 
how, what's the old school way to do this? Yeah, brilliantly brightening micellar water, um, micellar water to get the rest of the makeup off. It is 100% vegan, sulfate free, free, paraben free, free, mineral oil free, and it the micellar water just attaches to all of the makeup and gook that might still be on your face and it's oh it's so cooling anyway so i ask you so if you are being caught up in the numbers game i'm telling you right now cut it because that is a distraction from why you're doing what you're doing in the first place especially if you are someone that is positivity spirituality like you see a lot of makeup and hair youtubers after a while there's only so much makeup you can wear there's only so many clothes you can wear there's only so many um um hairdos you can do before god starts tapping on you and saying uh you can do all this superficial stuff but i need you to reach people in a deeper way you see it all the time after a while you cannot keep doing the superficial stuff and that's why um makeup and hair and clothing vlogger uh youtubers who i love that's why they're so successful because we are a very superficial world but god doesn't look at the outside god looks at the inner god looks at the heart so if you are doing things to get that and i think that you can have a beautiful blend i think brini lee she does a great job of bringing both of those worlds together i might have to take some tips from her because she's able to bring god and clothes and beauty together and she doesn't get lost in the sauce so i like her because she seems really centered and focused um but uh i need to go grab some more pads real quick basically what i'm saying is i don't want this to finish because they, they the amazing people over at akira sent it to me you should definitely check them out let them know beanie tv sent you anyway you know, why are you doing what you're doing? If you are doing things for outside validation, baby girl, baby boy, no. If you're doing things because you want to get popular, no. If you want to increase your visibility in a beautiful, organic way because you just want more people to receive your message, someone on my instagram and i love that she said it she was just like give that part to god give that part to god do you do what you in your heart love to do creating content being creative taking pictures whatever 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 you're passionate about if you want to you know oh no oh no if you want to bring that out into the world bring it out into the world but do it because you like to do it because you love it do it because you've been called to it god will handle the rest and it's true it's true because i'm sitting here posting my videos minding my own business doing what i feel the holy spirit sometimes tells me to say or whatever whatever and essence magazine features me on their snapchat what there are dozens of bigger and i was among bigger women and um i was amongst amongst bigger branded instagrammers influencers and what was so awesome about that was that like i was just minding my own business posting my little sprinkles of spiritual sassiness and and someone found me you know because i wasn't forcing someone to see me someone found me so please 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 I'll be your accountability partner and you can be my accountability partner let's not focus on the numbers anymore i'm happy you know when i reach a certain number i'm happy when this youtube channel goes to 5,000 subscribers i'm happy when my instagram goes to 2,000 followers i'm happy but i can't force that anymore and i can't put that pressure on myself anymore and i just gotta let god lead me to the souls that need to hear the messages need to see your photographs let god lead the people that need to see your photographs that need to see your your poem your poems like your 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 designs whatever it is let let god lead them you keep doing you you keep being the star that you are the thing so here's the makeup so again not all off but better than because okay look we went from like this to this so pretty good 
So one thing that Beyonce told Chloe and Hallie was do not change yourself for the world. You keep doing you and let the world, let the world catch up. So we're gonna keep doing us and the world will catch up. You already know you're amazing. You already know you're a creative. You already know that you're a star. You already know that once you get that opportunity, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, okay? So just continue to shine your light. You are the light that God has created to be atop of a hill. You are shining as bright as the city atop of a hill. You are the lamp that is supposed to be out shining bright okay like you are the salt and the light of the earth you are all of these things so continue to do you be great and put yourself out there continue to put yourself out there and god will lead the right people to oh i said i was gonna take on my earrings god will lead the right people to you god will lead the right brands to you anyway i thank you guys so much for Hearing me out, tuning in, Le let me know in the comments below. Have you ever felt pressure to succumb to the numbers game of social media? And if you have, what are some ways that you can cut it? What are some ways you can stop? I love you guys. Y'all are my beloveds. I love y'all so much. Y'all are my beanie babies. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let God lead you. Let God guide you. And just know that the world is going to catch up to you. You ain't got to morph yourself to the world. The world is going to catch up to you. You are a star. You are amazing. I love y'all so much. Follow me on Instagram. Not because I want the followers up, but I just want to know y'all with me. Y'all with me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next episode.